the course was recommended to me by my wife who was listening to your podcast so I'd been thinking about doing something like coaching for a while and she suggested it to me and it just immediately sounded really good because it was convenient it was online and it was kind of flexible that way it's specifically for doctors so I think that's good because everybody's kind of coming at it with a similar level of knowledge. I've given talks and courses before where you're talking to a mixed audience and it does make things more complicated. And then <clears throat> finally, the fact it's two kind of leading experts in the area that are given the course is very appealing. So it was a good package all round. I mean, I did shop around and look at alternatives, but it didn't seem to be anything that any kind of competition in that space that was anywhere near fitting what I wanted. I think actually doing the coaching practice um, and then the way that that kind of opened up your own thinking um, <clears throat> and not, not so much as actually being the coach, but being coached by somebody else. I had a small amount of experience with being coached um, previously. I think I'd had about two sessions, but it wasn't really enough to, to get into things in any detail, but being coached and, and being made aware of the, of the different techniques, it just made you aware of your thought processes and, um, what I kept on coming back to saying was that you're not, before you do coaching, you're not necessarily aware of the real reasons behind your problems, but coaching kind of helps you to kind of step outside your head and look at your behavior and look at the reasons you're doing things. And uh, that was really, that was the most enlightening thing really. And and it's quite empowering because it kind of gives you the power to to sort your own problems out. Um, and as you and Tom always said, that you're the person that's got the best information for sorting your own problems out. So that was the most enlightening thing for me. I really like the online workshops and the um, sort of sense of community in our group, I think. I was quite lucky we had a very, I don't know what other groups are like, I've got no experience, but it was a very kind of open group that we had. It was very safe space. I suppose everybody who comes to this course is to a degree is quite open to the, the process. So it was nice to meet people who were in a kind of similar headspace. And we've got like a WhatsApp group going now to kind of support us after the end of the, the session. So I really enjoyed that. I mean, I'm quite a kind of social outgoing person. So that kind of appealed to me. And I think, I think you learn better by actively practicing things for real. And we got plenty of that in the workshop. So you were, you were. Yeah, yeah I just thought it was very, um, supportive and friendly and I, I I really liked it. I thought it was a very good way to learn. I'm involved in undergraduate teaching in Glasgow and that's very much the way the medicine's taught now in Glasgow, a small group and you're given a kind of problem and then you kind of work through it. So, and, and it's been shown that it it's a great way to learn. So it's a really good core for the course to have it like that. <clears throat> As I alluded to before, it's kind of completely changed the way that I think um, in terms of relationships, job. Uh, it just allows you to get outside of your headspace and analyze <laughs> what you're doing. And uh, I think, especially where there's like repetitive behaviors where you're, you know, like they say that the first sign of madness is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. 
So it just it gives you a chance to say, well, actually, is this the only way I can do this? And I've, in my job, it's been very helpful. And if the, if I've had a difficult relationship with a colleague, it helps you kind of see things from their perspective as well and <clears throat> maybe change the way you emotionally react in those situations and just just gives you perspective on everything and <clears throat> I've been a lot more open to new challenges and um, I think some of my thinking was quite closed previously about my future so we've been discussing the possibility of going and working abroad for a year and previously I was quite against that but I'm actually quite kind of up for it now. That's That's been a really good thing. And I think once you feel like you're in control of these things and you can see why you're doing things, you can, it just puts you in a much more positive mindset. Being in this sort of mindset where you somebody comes up and says, oh, this bad thing's happened and you go, oh, well, that always happens. and this is what we need to do and actually being able to just say no well why are we just doing the same old thing again maybe we could do it differently <laughs> it's it's just a kind of complete change in approach to life really <laughs> so I, I did mention that sort of interpersonal relationships at work I think um, that's I've definitely used that to coach myself to not kind of react <laughs> like I normally do and kind of also see things from other people's perspective. Um, I think previously I probably had a bit of a belief that my way was the best way, but um, I think coaching makes you realise that sometimes other people have maybe a better solution <laughs> and uh, it kind of that and that that realization takes away the frustration of when you don't agree with a course of action because you've actually not just kind of had a visceral response and say oh why are you not doing it my way you're actually being more analytical just thinking outside the box basically and um taking a kind of um, view from above rather than being in the moment and just reacting. So it's kind of been like a transition towards that, more that this sort of type two type of thinking. I think it's very good for keeping your stress levels down as well, um, which I've had problems with, but I think uh, it helps you keep things in perspective. Yeah, well, I mean, if you're a doctor, you can't really ask for any more, like, because it's specifically for doctors. So, and you've so many doctors have been through your course now and they're successfully coaching. I mean, that kind of speaks for itself. If you're at all interested in this and you're in that kind of headspace, then I would just go for it because you won't, you won't regret it. Like, you're just, it, it's kind of like, Applying for the course is like the first part of kind of stepping off the cliff and then it's just like you just kind of soar after that once you've finished it. So it's definitely been one of the best things I've done. It's very rewarding.